Aoudu bilayhi li shaitan rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. First of all, I'd like to say assalamu alaikum to everyone here, panel, as well as the guests. I'll make it short, I'll be under the minute. Um, as he stated, there have been obstacles that we all face. Um, as far as the blemish, what I am, what Allah created me, I never looked at it that way. Um, I'm proud of who I am and what I am, but I do it with the sense of understanding that submission to Almighty God. And I think what we have to understand is as Muslims, we have a rich history here in America. One of the longest standing treaties between two countries has been from the Kingdom of Morocco and America itself. It's called the, Pe the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. You can look it up and Google it. You don't have to take my word for it. There's rich history in here in the archives of Islam, in the archives of America, as far as the history, declarations. That's what needs to be teached to our children. That's what needs to be understood and presented. Not that this is some foreign thing that Islam is new. It's been vested in this country and it's well accepted within this country and it has developed this country. There have been a lot of things. If you could, excuse me, go to certain places, there's cities called Mecca, Medina, within the Midwest. So there's been a lot of input. And what we have to understand is stop trying to take it and put it to the side and just express it. Let the children, let those in the community make their decision. People know what falsehood and truth is. You don't have to be you know, smoke screening. Give them the truth. Be truthful. That's what it is. As you know, the Prophet Sallallahu peace be upon him, said, clearly, truth is clear for falsehood. And then the truth knocks the brains out of falsehood. Thank you.